Did you know there are approximately 200 million bugs for every human on Earth? Time to learn a thing or two about them. Here are 20 cool facts about insects you may not have heard about. Number 1. Bumblebees can detect if another bumblebee has visited the same flower they are on by sensing electrical fields. Bumblebees are enticed to a flower by its bright colors, the patterning on the petals, and the scent of sweet nectar. But pollination is more than just sight and smell. There is also electricity in the mix. Bumblebees can detect the electromagnetic field that envelopes a flower. This discovery was made by Heather Whitney and Dominic Clark of the University of Bristol. Bumblebees can even learn to differentiate between fields generated by distinct floral shapes or use the electromagnetic field to determine whether other bees have recently visited a bloom. Number 2. A snail can hibernate for three years. When we consider how long animals sleep, we prefer to think of them in terms of a 24-hour cycle. Gastropods, on the other hand, don't follow the sun cycle. Instead, they'll sleep for a few hours at a time, followed by a lengthy wake session lasting roughly 30 hours. Snails often appear only when there is wetness present. Being in a humid environment is essential to their survival, and this gastropod will frequently plan their sleeping patterns around weather conditions. That's why you will notice periods of activity from them followed by inactivity. They can hibernate for up to three years, which appears to be an astounding amount of time. This is their primal instinct to act again. If the weather isn't suitable, they'll sleep until it's safe to leave their shell. Number 3. The Moon Lures Insects to Artificial Light Artificial lights attract flies, moths, crane flies, beetles, mayflies, and various other insects. But why is that? Sadly for the insects, their love of fluorescent lamps is a cruel trap induced by our technological advancements outpacing their evolution. Insects adapted to travel by moonlight. Insects can maintain a steady flying path and a straight track by keeping the moon's light rays at a constant angle. Artificial lights obscure natural moonlight, making it difficult for insects to navigate. Because the light bulb emits light from all sides, the insect can't keep the light source at a steady angle as it does with the moon. It tries to follow a straight course but becomes locked in an infinite spiral circle around the bulb. Number 4. Butterflies use their feet to taste. Because insects are such a diverse species, it is challenging to generalize a property across all of them. However, Lepidoptera, which includes butterflies and moths, and Diptera, which includes flies, are also leg tasters. According to researchers, taste buds are called contact chemoreceptors, basic onyx sensilla, or taste receptors. Insects can detect diverse tastes, just as humans can sense the sweetness of sugar and the harshness of medication. Their chemoreceptors can detect sweet, bitter, sour, and salty flavors. Number 5. Slugs have only one nose. It's a frequent misconception that slugs have four noses. However, this is not true. Tentacles on a slug's face contain its features and sensory organs. The upper pair of tentacles are used to detect lightness and darkness, while the second pair of tentacles is located at the lower part of the head and functions as a nose because they pick up chemical smells. They are also sensitive to touch. To find food, a slug uses all four tentacles. Number 6. The shrimp's heart is located in its head. The head of a shrimp houses its heart. Looking at its anatomy, the head is situated after the thorax. However, a single exoskeleton protects both the thorax and the head. This could be an evolutionary adaptation since the internal organs are safer in the head region. Talk about using your heart while thinking. Number 7. Bees can bite. 
French and Greek researchers have discovered that honeybees have defense tools at both ends of their bodies. In addition to their well-known ability to sting opponents, honeybees can bite them to inject venom, paralyzing intruders. The researchers hypothesize that the venom might benefit people and other animals as an anesthetic. A British business has already patented the idea and completed preliminary testing that suggests the venom functions similarly to the well-known lidocaine. Bees are gifts that keep on giving. Number 8. Bees have the ability to fly higher than Mount Everest. Although bees typically fly close to the ground, research has shown that they can fly at altitudes higher than Mount Everest. Although bumblebees cannot endure the sub-freezing temperatures at the summit of Mount Everest. However, the University of California, Berkeley researchers reproduced low air density and the low oxygen conditions of such heights to ascertain the bumblebees' flight limits. They discovered the bees could maintain their buoyancy at very hostile elevations. Number 9. Fruit flies were the first lifeforms launched into space. Animals have been deployed in space programs since the very inception of space travel. Fruit flies were the first living things purposefully transported into space, despite the possibility that numerous spacecraft may have unintentionally delivered bacteria and other kinds of life. These were flown on a Vault 2 rocket on February 20, 1947. The fruit flies were launched as part of a research mission from the White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico. Before returning to Earth via parachute, the unidentified rocket traveled 67 miles into the atmosphere. Currently, NASA recognizes that space officially begins at an altitude of 66 miles. Fruit flies are therefore regarded as the first animals to ever reach the last frontier. Number 10. Dragonflies have existed on the planet for 300 million years. Dragonflies were present on Earth long before dinosaurs, which may sound shocking. Their estimated lifespan is 300 million years, over 60 million years older than the dinosaurs. Dragonflies continue to live despite all the transformations that have occurred over time, even though they have developed to meet the needs of modern existence. Modern dragonflies' ancestors were not only older but also much larger. Scientists attributed this to the high oxygen content that existed during the Paleozoic epoch. Think about coming across a cow-sized dragonfly. Researchers have discovered fossilized dragonflies with wingspans of roughly 30 inches. Number 11. Bugs have many ears but none on their heads. Most bugs have several layers all over their body, but rarely on the head, in contrast to humans and other animals, which only have two ears on their top bodies. The parasitic tachinid fly's ears can be seen protruding from its neck. On their legs, katydids and crickets have sound-sensitive membranes. And the grasshopper's ears are located on the abdomen. Number 12. Bugs fart. Do insects fart? Yes, they do. In fact, some insects release a lot of gas. That gas is a mixture of hydrogen and methane. While it is too faint to hear, they can, however, smell bad. Another common question is, do bugs all fart? The answer would be no. Or at least not that we are aware of. Number 13. Caterpillars, despite having a dozen eyes, are practically blind. Caterpillars have a total of 12 eyes. Both of their heads have six eyes each. They contain pigments and light-sensitive cells called photoreceptors. These rudimentary ocelli cannot see as well as human eyes. They can only distinguish between light and dark. Although they are not entirely blind, caterpillars are almost blind. That's why they get help from their skin that can sense the color of their surroundings. Number 14. To defend their young, some wasps transform caterpillars into zombies. 
Wasps are thought to be aggressive and can repeatedly sting, which has earned them a bad reputation. But even if wasps are bullies, they are wonderfully saintly compared to their parasitic cousins. When parasitic wasps sting, they frequently inject venom and a virus into the host and the eggs. The unknowing host is typically killed when its larvae mature and eventually exit from it. Then, as adults, they fly away to repeat the cycle. To help the larva survive, certain wasps go one step further and manipulate their host's behavior, thereby zombifying them. Number 15. House Flies Eat Their Vomit There are approximately 110,000 species of known flies. One of the popular ones is the house flies. They lack teeth, making it impossible for them to chew solid food. Their mouthpiece resemble a flimsy straw. They expel digestive fluids on their meal to turn it into a partially digested drinkable soup, which they can consume. In other words, some flies only drink liquids. In addition, flies strive to lower the liquid content of the food they have already consumed to fit extra food in their stomachs. To slightly dry it out, they vomit food into bubbles of vomit. They can finish this more concentrated meal after some water has evaporated. That's nasty. Number 16. When attacked, certain ants cause themselves to explode. There's an ant in Borneo's treetops with a dangerous secret. It is capable of blowing up. It appears to be merely a discreet, brownish-red from the outside. Its small mandibles, lack of ability to sting, and general appearance make it seem easy prey for any predator. However, when these ants sense a threat, they lift their rumps in a warning gesture. If the potential threat such as the much more giant weaver ant, for example, does not retreat, one or more tiny ants will bite down on it, tuck their backsides in, and bend their abdomens until they explode. The ants kill themselves by tearing each other apart to defend the colony. Number 17. While mating, praying mantises devour each other. The praying mantis well-known mating behavior involves the larger adult female eating the male for sustenance. This usually happens after or perhaps even during the mating procedure. Males don't appear to be discouraged from reproducing by this behavior. They occasionally become wary of the female's size and power. Males, therefore, employ the stop and go strategy to stalk females discreetly. Praying mantises typically cannot detect stationary things. Therefore, when males notice females moving or turning their heads, they usually freeze. Naturally, males attempt to flee once mating is over for their safety, but many end up getting devoured. Not a sexual experience to look forward to. Number 18. Cockroaches can survive without their heads for up to seven days. A headless cockroach will not die from bleeding, nor die because it cannot breathe. It will also not die due to the minor event of losing its brain. However, it will die as a result of its failure to eat. And it will die of thirst much before that. A headless cockroach cannot drink since it lacks a mouth and will die of hunger in less than a week. That brings the total number of days from the point it lost its head to the point it dies to roughly seven days or less. Not much at all, but far more than you or I could accomplish. Number 19. Crickets use their legs to sense sound. Crickets, like many bugs, listen with tiny hairs on their legs. Crickets and all orthopterans' ears function similarly to human ears. They are sensitive to vibrational sound waves. After capturing the sound waves, the cricket's ear transforms and amplifies them before analyzing their frequencies. A cricket can determine where a sound originates by simply shifting its orientation. Number 20. Aphids are born pregnant. Aphids, tiny insects found throughout the world, are basically born pregnant. Aphids reproduce asexually, giving rise to miniature clones of themselves. 
When this occurs, a freshly hatched female has eggs growing inside her. When their environment, such as the weather, becomes unpredictable, aphids will also adopt sexual reproduction. This ensures that kids are more genetically diversified, resulting in more resilience and healthier offspring. That's all for today. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like the video, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to hit the notification bell.